Okay, lot to tell you today. Iris Dement, some of you will remember. Hopefully you can see as usual, it's no screen me. So Iris Dement, uh, Trackless Woods, amazing. She's singing in the background. And some of you will remember um, a video that I did called To Russia With Love. And I think it's really important now with what, what's uh, happening over there. Um, but in it, I spoke of her. Yeah, the night that I found her and obviously the Lord was talking to me because it was a uh, like um, a Sunday night program and um, some and <coughs> my husband said oh it's uh, country and western so this was on the classical so he says oh you won't like that but um, before he managed to turn it off I just first, first heard like the first note and I just said to leave it and from the moment that I heard her voice and this record, it was uh, William Dash, I think, and um, he, I just cried uncontrollably for a whole hour, just just poured out of me. And her, her story is um, about um, adopting a little Russian girl and how through that she came to find out um, she, the poetry of Anna Akhmatova, and um, who was a great friend of um, Pasternak and Pasternak wrote, um, Boris Pasternak wrote uh, uh, Dr. Shivago. So it's an incredible story and um, I saw that video, that film, I don't know how many times but it was the most, uh, you know, from when I was quite young and uh, it was very profound and I just, you know, I loved that movie and just watched it over and over. Anyway, we're here, here again and it's um, a crucial time. Some of you may have wondered, you know, I did a video the other day bringing up my Aunt Selena. Um, I may not have even really known why I did it myself, except she was an amazing woman who came from Scotland on her own, taught herself to be a, um, a nurse, uh, single-handedly opened um, or single-handedly fought a typhoid outbreak in Masterton and then went on to um, build its first uh, hospital. But, you know, she was an incredible woman, and, but she came against so much um, false accusations, um, envy, hatred, um, but, you know, what she did for the children, you know, but unfortunately, you know, um, sometimes she was a bit strong for the, the nice church ladies. So, you know, all sorts of things happened to her. She um, ended up being presented to Queen Victoria, who gave her a, um, a diamond, um, uh, brooch and um, you know straight away she just hopped it <laughs> that was just who she was and um, for, you know for the children for the homes when she left New Zealand in disgust she went over to uh, Melbourne and um, there's a monument to her there and the same thing happened again um, these accusations she was always just totally um, exoner you know ex exonerated and um, on, but on the day you know on the day that she uh, you know, she died with nothing, um, but she was bequeathed some some money um, to um, open a uh, a children's you know, a big. You know, she could buy, bought this big building for another orphanage. On, on the day that she actually walked out of uh, of the um, hospital in Melbourne after saying you know accusations, you know, it was like a Pied Piper thing, and apparently all these. You know, everybody, all the staff and all the all the um, the children, all just walked out behind her down the streets of Melbourne. So quite a sight to see. But anyway, so she, um, you know, and but such as her luck, and she was only uh, just about 60, 63, I think, um, when she died, and she died on the very day that she took over. You know, got this uh, inherit this um, not, you know bequeathed. Um, th this uh, money for the house and the, d the day that they took after uh, well, you know, it was a big, big, big house it wasn't just a little house so it's quite a lot of money but on the day she took over she died so that was a bit of a bummer but anyway she'd worked hard and done her thing but she had seen that she'd left Scotland because she'd seen terrible th things she'd seen like her own family you know, her, her mother um, and her father um, her mother was a scholar but um, her, her father was just, um, you know, they were crofters and they were kicked out of their home, you know, and uh, 
you know, that's why so many people, you know, from, came from Scotland and Ireland because, you know, of, of um, England went and, you know, they would uh, just take their lands and turn them into slaves and then um, kick them off the lands and, uh, you know, what little land they were left with and so they couldn't even grow their own fair sheets. And, and the crofters, they used to actually go and um, the only way they could make a living was, or um, eat, <laughs> was... Um, to, to pick off seaweed, uh, seaweed from the, the beaches. So, you know, but uh, so that was Selena. So she was a pretty, pretty amazing um, woman. And I've just, you know, this is a, a, um, a rosary that I got from Bavaria sent over. You know, anybody who knows me knows that I'm a real, um, real anti-Catholic. But one of my strongest memories you know, and I'm now beginning to believe that it was in another life, was um, this incredible, you know, black, red rosary. And uh, so I tried to replace it with this one, but um, it's not quite the same, but it's still lovely. And I just wonder who owned this, you know, who owned this, this rosary over in um, Bavaria. And I think it's very um, appropriate now, given what's happening in Ukraine. And uh, so I'm doing my little bit because, um, you know, Iris Dement, you know, she is singing these songs of Anna Akhmatova, who was this poetess. And, you know, they, they ate grass in Russia because of what, um, you know, the Marxists did, the whole, the people whose names we cannot mention. Not the real ones, you know, because the real ones, you know, they don't understand, you know, that... Uh, you know how the uh, name has been used and um, usurped by um, evil forces and they're the ones that I've told you about that you can find out about on um, Janet Osibard and Janet Osibard and um, Full Cabal you know and uh, if you read up those um, so if you don't sort of think it's important, the reason that I think it's really important is because um, I, t I mentioned the other, you know, day about um, three days of darkness and more and more scriptures, I'm just coming to um, believe that it really is going to happen. And so I'm just going to quickly try now and take you through some of the stuff is probably, you know, it's so normal to me, you know, because I've had, can you see that's, that was when Jesus, can you see that there? That's a painting I did when Jesus actually, I can't see a blemin thing, I'm so sorry. Um, when Jesus visited me, and I know it's, you know, there you go, oh, I can, you can see it, can't you? You see the two, two guys there? One is Jesus, and so, and this is me sitting in the in my prayer, you know, chair. I wasn't actually praying at the time. I was just going through so much persecution from my neighbours, um, which I, you know, I often, you know, I, I, it was hell, you know, the things that I've, I've gone through. And I was just sitting in my chair, and they, when these two great men, um, who, you know, nearly touched the roof, um, to just turned up, and. Uh, as I sat there looking, one of them, who I just believed must have been Jesus, he just picked me up, you know, and threw me over his shoulder. Okay, I'm still sitting in the chair, but that's what I saw. I saw him pick me up and throw me over his shoulder in the fireman's lift. And the other one I just figured is Gabriel. But I never, ever forget the compassionate look and that he just looked at me, you know, it was just such compassion. Um, and uh, so... Today, this week, I came across, after looking up the three days of darkness, I came across a face that's like, you know, jumped out of me from, you know, um, I think a hundred years ago, Saint Faustina. And when I looked at her, you know, it's just like everything about her just looks like me. And especially like the family nose and the cheekbones. And, um, you know, and I... She was famous also because she had had this vision of Jesus. So whenever you see the pictures of her, um, she has this, um, you know, she's there's paintings of Jesus with the rays coming out, and it, which represents the mercy, you know. And I've told you many times that the um, that vision that I had of um, you know a big nuclear cloud, 
you know, and with, with um, nothing but a burnt out landscape and underneath it I wrote the scripture um, because you did not understand these words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, you condemned the innocent. And I believe that's where we're at now, where we are condemning the innocent, that these men and their evil games, that, you know, games, that, that, that is going to be a time when the, those of us that survive are going to be looking after a whole lot of children. You know, I saw today just on mainstream media some, I think it was some, he was a sportsman, Broncos or something, you know, like that. Um, and um, he's had to announce the death of his, his wife. You know, they'd only been married 20, um, three months and she was only 27 years old. So, um, you know, we don't need to go into details of, of how she died, just like so many are dying. And there are going to be so many orphans, I believe. So that's where I'm at. And now I just really want to impress upon you just how important it is, how important you are. You know, if only you would believe the spiritual things that I've been trying to get through to you, and they are real. These witches are how you know how real these. Um, you know, they know what they're doing. You know, but Christians are so not you know so good being nice. You know, so trying to do all these rules. You know that when a strong person comes in, they condemn them. They condemn them. They don't understand the whole body. You know, you know we're all different, and uh, you know. They're the ones that do nothing, you know. This woman, the reason she got into trouble in New Zealand was because the church ladies wanted all the orphan children to wear a uniform so it was clear to anybody that um, that they were the poor ones. And, of course, Selena just wouldn't have a bar of it, you know. And uh, so that really got on their tits. And then another thing, she also uh, was really uh, renowned for um, helping alcoholics and... Um, which of course they always accused her of being one, um, but and um, and it's widely used now. You know, she didn't believe in cold turkey. She believed that alcoholics, you know, these are street people, that you'd you know she'd give them just a little wee bit, just to, and just to take them off really slowly. So anyway, um, I want to go back to a really old video that I did and I'll just quickly show you through because I think what is happening now. I did a video couple of videos last week or sometime one was talking about a guy Cliff High and um, the um, remote viewers and um, so oh bother I didn't bring I brought bring my old Bible and what a blast um, okay so the remote viewers a word that has been coming up with these remote viewers, these remote viewers um, are used by C, um, you know NASA, CIA, you know they're renowned for what they're able to do, and they're all given one subject to look at, and uh, and in this case they were all given the subject, you know, of the crash, you know, the the, the money crash. They were asked to concentrate on that, but all of them, um, bar none, were not able to look at the crash because they were all seeing the same thing. They were all seeing um, stuff coming out of the sky, explosions, you know, and they came up with this word, and it's an unusual word, and um, and the word is... <laughs> oh, gosh, I don't know how many times I've written it today. Oh, here it is. Ejector. I've only written it once. I said ejector. This is the one word, ejector. So that's a kind of funny word, isn't it? So I'm going to show you there where that is, and that um, you can find it on uh, at 6:27, 6, 6 minutes 27, if I don't get to it, on the Cliff High remote viewing video that I did, um, and then I'm putting that together with another one. Which is called, uh, which is on, um, oh, what was that one? Uh, 5G. Oh, that was about, yeah, 5G activating at people and turning them into um, like zombies. Now, I'm sure all of you know all the messaging we've been getting about the zombie apocalypse and all that sort of thing. This is why. So they're going to use that. And that one there is at um, 2 minutes 26, okay? 
But to start off today, I want to take you right back to Jacinda when she first um, you know, came on and I made this video when I was just watching this video in the morning and it was um, a news item or something. St. Luke's in uh, St. Luke's Church in England where there was a zombie fashion show and at the bottom of it she was advertising you know, for the labour. It's time. We can't afford to wait. So this was part of the whole um, witchcraft thing and I also came across something this week um, and um, look, it was a, I saw a, a tarot card featured in a video and it was actually a Trump card. Okay, so it was the brand of the, the tarots was Trump. And lo and behold, when I actually looked at that, because I thought, oh, is, is there a, you know, a suit called the, the Trumps? This is, you know, and, and I came across this um, BBC story um, of... Um, when all the witches were gathering together, you know, I don't know how many of you have seen my um, death and resurrection videos and um, where I was pronounced dead or was absent um, and he'd done all the, you know, all the pokes his fingers in my eyes, this Dr. Paul at the Wonkanui Hospital and that was after two days of, um, of uh, spiritual attack when I was coming out of trances, in and out, and I'd become this old woman, and all sorts of things were happening to me. 